Hello, welcome to Chicagoland and the Wells Fargo 300. Round number seven of the Coke Vanilla Cup Series is right around the corner, and joining me in the booth here today is Stephen Paul III. Well, um, welcome back, Charles. We went to travel with Hard Harvard Beer Storage after Betty Johnson's big win today. Now we're back. I might be a little tipsy. I don't know about Charles, but uh. Well, who knows? Starting on the poll today yeah. is Elijah Workman, and he'll start alongside Will Lewis. Momo Kari and Jeff James will start in row two, with Henry Sanford and Roman Rahal row three. Vitaly Nikolaev, Kyle Sosnowski row four. Seth Cole and Maxwell Chan make up row five, and here's the rest of the starting grid. Uh, the low res is real. Uh, it's ironic, right? But Agra car can come in clear, but some of these cars can't come in clear. And on the final row, Dylan Young, the hometown hero, and Ish Taylor. So drivers, oh, well, never mind. start your engines. I was going to ask you about your thoughts on today's race, but then we got the command, so I'll ask you now. What do you expect from today's race based on what we saw yesterday? Well, uh, qualifying, I mean, not qualifying, I mean, happy hour practice, we're reading down right after the front race, really hot. I don't know what to expect, you know, I mean, I know these trucks are not trucks, but the cars are much smaller, and, you know, they can go in more places, but I think it gets these four wide work here, not like people hitting the wall in the last, like, like, meet them yesterday, but, uh, I expect a pretty calm race, I don't know, it's a, it might be a pit stop, and I hope Floyd, I don't even know if Floyd's in this race, but I hope someone doesn't run out of gas and turn four and stack up the field. Well, who knows? So, uh, obviously, the hometown hero, not the best starting spot here on the final row. Who is your pick to win today? I'm looking at Dylan Young to win because, you know, he's the hometown hero. How, what is Jerry to last for? We saw last in points when at Iowa. Can we see last in the grid win today? But I'm looking at if I can well, get a different angle. Well, if you're doing the last in points, you're looking at Jeff James starting third. Yeah, well, I'm looking maybe at Drew Austin. You know, he had a bad night at Iowa, he was kicking himself. Maybe he can redeem himself by winning today. I mean, we've seen people go from the back to the front here. Well, uh, as the pace car pulls off, we'll give you a brief summary of the points coming in. Eric and Rage is the points leader, seven points back to Mary Shelley. Makoto Gucci, 92 back. Kyle Matthews, 100. Will Lewis, uh, 101 back. As the, green, as the green flag comes out now. And um, Charles Jackson, 108. Kyle Sosnowski, 117. Those are really the only guys within a race now of the points of the points lead, as everyone took the green flag. And the caution flag is already out. Henrietta Fitzwater has gone around, as oh, well as know. P.J. Williams, last week's winner. Mm -hmm. Dylan Young has some damage to the right side of his car as well. Oh, oh, oh Mitchell! Drew Austin as well! What a save though. Holy crap. Maxwell that Chan's got a ton of damage now to the left side of his car. But still, they saved that. That could have been a flip easily. They somehow saved that. Meacham's hitting the wall yes, they saved him there. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Look at this backup back here. Mary Cole is uh, looking to go flying through the uh, air. Well, the there. problem is they're waiting for Drew Austin to pass him. Well, you know, Drew is still a little mad about Iowa. You know, they're gonna, while well, they get laughed, we're going to take a commercial break on CBS. Well, we're going to take a commercial break anyway to take a look <laughs> back at what happened to Henrietta Fitzroy and PJ Williams. You're watching the Wells Fargo 300 from Chicagoland. And we're back. We had two separate wrecks here. Uh, Henrietta Fitzwater and PJ Williams getting spun separately. Let's see what happened here. Oh wow, this one actually happened in front. PJ, you see the Looks nine like gets turned. That's Nick Pericles. Pericles hit the twelve, big damage in the eighteen. They just got together on the straightaway. I mean, it looks reminds me of Paul Menard and uh, Kyle Busch's crash a couple years ago at Chicago, and they just yeah. Uh, well, Drew awesome. Austin a little bit involved in this one. He washed up. Ah, uh, we gotta get a better angle of that. Yeah, well, that's better. Oh, just washed up there. Well, let's take a look back this way. He actually hit Austin there. You go, look, he just fighting the wheel right there. He turns it right into Austin that comes off the track. and never saw the 18 car there of um, Troy King. Now, back here, PJ Williams will get turned by William Duncan. Oh, oh lucky the 45. What a job. 
And Fitzwater had already gone around back in the back. And we did we didn't see a first caution until the green white checkered yesterday. Now we're already seeing a caution lap one. This is nuts. And this one started with Chris Washer making some contact with Dylan Young. Oh, Young just came up on him. They were just beating and banging there. Young just hit the brakes after that. Oh God, I don't know what he's doing. Well, evasive action. Well, he kind of basically actually like stopped on the track, like you know, that's kind of ex hey, you know that's kind of extreme evasive action if you ask me. Well, oh well, no. Uh, well, he didn't hit anyone, but uh, oh, not quite sure who led back to a stripe. Let's take a look. Well, we know it's not the twenty nine because he kind of slapped the wall there. In that Henry lag. Sanford uh, led back to stripe. Let's take you back to green flag. And we are back. Henry Sanford is your leader. No retirements underneath the caution. Jeff James runs second. Kyle Sosnowski third. Seth Cole fourth. Elijah Workman completes the all Chevy top five. Tom Gerard in sixth. Will Lewis seventh. Kyle Matthews eighth. Momo Kari ninth. And Mary Shelley runs tenth. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um. Roman Rahal runs 11th, Vitaly Nikolaev 12th, Makoto Gucci, Charles Jackson, Maxwell Chan, Drew Austin, Trevor Meacham, Zachary Fitzmark, Mary Cole, and Daniel Day, the top 20, Tristan Wilhite, Brian Patterson, Chris Souvier, Gabe Williams, Troy King, Tom Shelley, Amy Shelley, Alex May, Katie Elizabeth, and Gene Sean for the top 30. Pace cars pulled off and field under control of the Tide Chevrolet for PPI Racing. And the green flag is out. Look at the run Jeff James got on him, though, coming down to the line, and he's going to make the move to the inside through turn one, or going into turn number one. Jump the start. Kyle Snosky makes the move inside for second. Seth Cole into third and remains in all Chevy top five till the moment, or for the moment here. Mary Shelley going to ruin that though and go inside and take fourth away. Or, well, actually fifth. Sorry. sorry. As, as I cannot see the action. You can't? No, it's kind of like frozen with Jeff James, like hugging hands on lap five. Oh, shit. Well... Kosnowski now is going inside for the race lead through turns three and four. Jeff James gets the run though, almost gets into the wall and down to the line. Jeff James leads lap seven. I guess we'll go back as, to TV one. As Charles is watching the race, I am just admiring Jeff James with an apple card in the booth. Well, hopefully that'll fix itself. I don't know. <coughs> If not, what we'll have to do is take a short break. Seth Cole now takes takes a peek to the inside. Nothing going there, though. That would have been a battle for the race lead. As the top five have just broken away from the rest of the field. Makoto Gucci, Will Lewis battle over six. As we have a battle for the race lead now, Seth Cole inside of Kyle Sosnowski. What the hell is Cole coming for? As everyone runs the high line right here. Sosnowski into the wall off turn four. He's going to lose a ton of ground. That's what you get for jumping that start, Sosnowski. <laughs> Mary Shelley now into fourth as the caution flag has come out, and we have a huge wreck in turn three. Eric and Rage is involved. And Daniel Day. Allie Nelson I saw involved. Troy King. William Duncan was off the pace. Pericles might have more damage. At least a four-car wreck through turns three and four. Brings out the caution for the second time here today on lap 10. And we're going to check watch real quick. Oh, they're looking like the leaders are going to pit there for a second. They do not. And we will take you back to see what happened. We'll try also try and fix the screen share issue. And we're back. Going to try and figure out what happened here. And whoa. Oh, my God. What a 41. What? Oh my God, that was. Uh, well, apparently there's a lot more to this than what we saw. Whoa, Katie Elizabeth. Three She's wide with three of the female drivers here and two and all rookies. Katie Elizabeth gets into Allie Nelson, turns her around, 
and it will not be a girls' night out after that one. <coughs> well, and well, and Eric and Rage was a lap down at this point. That's weird. And the forty-one, I I don't know what Nelson's doing. Well, oh, right, right across. I don't the think. Ta- oh oh my gosh! There's Eric and yeah. Rage getting oh, wow. involved. Watch well, this car, though. Any- Watch this car. This was. I can't. Watch this. I can't really see it. It's lagging with that. Well, watch. Oh. Well, that's not it. Look at this part of the wall that Nelson's about ready to hit. Oh, he sent her back. So that's fatal. And then Eric and Rage, Troy King, just absolutely nowhere to go. You mean plow? No. And watch William Duncan just have to try and guide his way through this. Wow, so four car wreck. I'm kind of curious on what happened to maybe Eric and Rage and William Duncan. We're going to investigate that a little bit, but if we can't find anything, then we'll bring you back for the green flag. Yes, we will. And we're back. Here's what happened to William Duncan that caused him to be so far back. And this was actually before the Katie Elizabeth incident. And... This looks exactly like the Katie Elizabeth deal with Allie Nelson, except for one minor thing. Yeah, this William Duncan finds a way to not hit anyone and then still guide his way back onto the track. Well, that remi- well that kind of reminds me of Power Quest the famous Gen 6 wreck. I mean, that video was enough, but it's hilarious. So, with that, I believe... Seth Cole leading back to stripe, and we'll bring you back for the green flag. And we're back. Four drivers have retired. They're all the drivers that were involved in that accident. Seth Cole is your leader, and it's Henry Sanford, Kyle Sosnowski, Mary Shelley, Jeff James, Makoto Gucci, Drew Austin, Zachary Fitzwater, Elijah Workman, and Roman Rahal, the top ten. Charles Jackson runs 11th, and it's Maxwell Chan, Will Lewis, Tom Gerard, Momo Akari, Kyle Matthews, Tom Shelley, Gabe Williams, Amy Shelley, and Chris Louvier are the top 20. So, on the downside, Eric and Rage not going to be leaving here at the points lead. Uh, looks like the favorite to do that will be Mary Shelley. Pace car pulls off. Just, over, just about the halfway point here today as Seth Cole will take the green flag. Yes, he will as... Uh... I feel like I'm watching a race in 1975 because the lag is so bad. Not a lot I can do about that, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I feel like a uh, 10 square up there. Well, so Henry Sanford on the back bumper of the leader Seth Cole. Zachary Fitzwater inside Jeff James. And here we go. Battle for the lead. Look at Henry Sanford just drive it. Here we go. Yep, here he comes. Kyle Sosnowski now and moves inside for second. Kyle comes into this race seventh in the points. 117 points back. And pretty much the final driver who came in here with a logical shot of actually taking over the points lead. Or at least mathematical shot. Yep, and uh, he Henry heard someone Stanford in the wall. Doing a really good job on that tie. And I caution's out. I just hear the car stop, stopping going. Kyle Thomas is involved. Well, Chris Washer with a ton there. of damage. Oh, well, Tom Shelley, Tristan Wilhoyt apparently involved. Will Lewis looks to have been involved. Nick Pericles, uh, William Duncan. Possibly Kitty Elizabeth, possibly Mary Not Cole. Survived this. Did not survive this wreck. And there we go, leaders stay out. A couple drivers towards the back here that were involved will be uh, making the pit stops. Let's take a look back at what happened. And we're back. Well done. <laughs> nice. So that this is where work. that one yeah, starts. That was never going to work. So yeah, Kyle Matthews, Will Lewis making some contact. Tom Shelley gets involved. Oh. There's Amy Shelley, Will Height nowhere to go. Same for Chris Washer. K 
Katie Elizabeth, and then oh. the outside line is just blocked. There's just absolutely nowhere to go. Meacham, Nick Pericles, Duncan, Katie Elizabeth. Big time contact with the zero and the seven. My God, that was hard. Uh, yeah, definitely. Per uh, Kyle Thomas is uh, his day is done. You see the smoke erupting. I'm pretty sure uh, William Duncan Pericles might be done. I'd be surprised if Washer continues. Same for Tom Shelley. But Henry Sanford's leader will have less than 10 laps to go when we get the green flag. Let's take you back to the restart. And we are back. Drivers out of the race. Kyle Thomas, William Duncan, Chris Washer, Kristen Wilhoy, and Tom Shelley. That leaves us with 33 cars on the track. Henry Sanford leads those 33 cars. And Seth Cole, Kyle Sosnowski, Mary Shelley, Makoto Gucci, Zachary Fitzwater, Jeff James, Elijah Workman, Roman Rahal, Charles Jackson, the top 10. Tom Gerard runs 11th, and Maxwell Chan, Drew Austin, Momo Kari, Gabe Williams, Chris Louvier, Gene Sanford, Ish Taylor, Alex Perkle, and Alex Hawkins, the top 20. With Vitaly Nikolaev, PJ Williams, Dylan Young, Brennan Patterson, Henrietta Fitzwater, Amy Shelley, Alex May, Katie Elizabeth, Nick Pericles, Trevor Meacham, Kyle Matthews, Will Lewis, and Mary Cole running out the 33 car field. Coming to the restart here, as there will be eight laps to go when we get the green flag. Not quite sure if we'll get all eight of those laps here underneath the green, but let's try. Green flag back out. The PPI Racing cool. Chevrolet for Henry Sanford leads. Yeah, you got a good jump there. Sosnowski peeks inside for second, but Seth's going to get the runoff turn two. Mary Shelley makes a little bit of a dive bomb here inside of Sosnowski. Seth moving inside of Sanford. Make the move. Fitzwater in the wall. Everyone keeps it going straight, though. Don't figure. Sand for now oh with a God. crossover, though. Back inside for the race lead. As, race oh my there. gosh, this is not going to end well. No, it's not. And Dave Williams is stuck in the back. Fitzmar still in the loss. Workman. Oh, there goes Gene Sand for Roman Rayo, Gabe Williams, Elijah Workman, Zachary Fitzwar, Kyle Matthews. Oh, God. All over Daniel Day. How does it over Daniel Day? He's oh, out wow. of the race. That's... And meanwhile, oh, he, the field no, race is back to the line. Charles is just off there. Huge hit there for Gene Sanford. Henry Sanford leads back to Striped and Seth Cole, Kyle Sosnowski, Mary Shelley, and Makoto Gucci, the top five. There's Mary Cole's car. We have a one lap shootout. Wow. Wow, that's big damage. A lot and of damage to still. the Air Force Ford. That paint scheme really has not been helping her this season. No, it has not. Remember Daytona? Nick Pericles. <laughs> well, and then the round after that. Nick Pericles involved. Oh my gosh, and Brent Patterson. Up, and they're stacking up. Well, <laughs> someone is, the tempers have overflowed. They know they have lost. Oh, I can imagine Duncan's comments at this. <laughs> and the tempers have once again overflowed. That was idiotic for Bernie Patterson. No, the tempers have just overflown. They know they have lost. <laughs> well, let's take a look back at what happened. That was idiotic for Bernie Patterson. And we are back. Here's yeah, what happened. Well, yeah, ended up being four work. wide here. Ray Hall had to dive to the inside a little bit to try and avoid hitting Workman, but Gene Sanford was there. There's Gabe Williams making contact. Ooh. There's Workman and Fitzwater. Will Lewis, first... Trevor Meacham just driving through this, though. And... Oh, oh God. Oh, that's a miracle. Wow. Oh, God. That was a big wreck. That was Oh, my God. Gosh. Oh, well, that happened. That's why the 17 plowed. Yeah, that explains it. Oh, my God. But 
But yeah, that explains it. Trying to get in Never front of double. Amy Shelley because definitely cross line in front. Oh, Pericles got damage yeah, from hitting Gabe Williams. There's Sanford. Oh, and Pericles just makes contact with Ray Hall. Ironic enough on those guys making contact. And Ray Hall's car just goes up and over. And Pericles just happens to clip the 17. And the 17 is actually what keeps it's Ray Hall's car from sliding back onto its roof and just flipping even more. It's fun. Fun to flip. Oh, I'm just seeing a 14 upside down. That's all I'm seeing. Well, he flipped back over and landed on his wheels. But let's go ahead and take some onboards here as this was an incredible wreck. On board the 43. On board Mary Cole, the wreck already in progress. So that wasn't as bad as we originally thought. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone know what it felt like to ride on your roof? Well, you're about ready to feel it. On board, Roman Ray Hall. I'm fine, I'm fine, guys. Oh, crap. Luckily, lands on all four Hello. wheels. Let's take you back to the restart. And we are back. Drivers out of the race after that last incident. Brennan Patterson, Nick Pericles, Mary Cole, Roman Rahal, Gabe Williams, Gene Sanford, Kyle Matthews, Katie Elizabeth. That leaves 25 cars on the lead lap and on the racetrack as we will have a one-lap shootout. Henry Sanford leads, and Seth Cole, Kyle Sosnowski, Mary Shelley, Makoto Gucci, Charles Jackson, Tom Gerard, Drew Austin, Ish Taylor and Momo Kari, the top 10. Alex Perkle, Chris Luvier, Maxwell Chan, PJ Williams, Dylan Young, Henrietta Fitzwater, Jeff James, Alex Hawkins, Alex May, Vitaly Nikolaev, Amy Shelley, Will Lewis, Trevor Meacham, Zachary Fitzwater, and Elijah Work on the rest of those cars. Boy, this could get a little crazy here. Oh, you think? It's all going to come down to who can get a good start here. Sanford gets going, but I think, I think Cole got a pretty good jump there. Can he get back to the inside, or will it be Sosnowski? Sosnowski oh. gets to the inside of Seth. Oh, here we go. Here we go, inside of him. Does Mary Shelley have anything for him? Through turns three and four, we're going to go to the spectator cam. Sand forgets the wall. It'll be S Kyle Sosnowski going to victory lane in Chicagoland. As we lose Pollard at the end. So Kyle Sosnowski goes to victory lane. Standings become official now. Mary Shelley, second. Makoto Gucci, third. Henry Sanford, Tom Gerard, Seth Cole, Charles Jackson, Drew Austin, Chris Luvier, and Momo Kari, the top ten. PJ Williams, Alex Perkle, Ish Taylor, Dylan Young, Jeff James, Maxwell Chan, Alex Hawkins, Henrietta Fitzwater, Alex May, Vitaly Nikolaev, Will Lewis, Trevor Meacham, Zachary Fitzwater, Amy Shelley, and Elijah Workman. The rest of the running order of those that finish on the lead lap here today. And at the bottom of the results, those out of the race, anyone from Patterson on down, not able to see the checkered flag here today. As we officially lose them, we'll export the results. And obviously we'll not go and get uh, Steven's thoughts on today's race, but a great race here from Chicagoland. Kyle Sosnowski snaps an almost 60 race winless streak here today. 
Congrats to him and for Stephen Paul III. I'm Gordon Fenton One, and this has been a production of the Ironrail Racing and Contained. The Ironrail President goes to Victory Lane here today. Let's take you down to the Victory Celebration. It's been since Pocono back in Season 1, but Kyle Sosnowski go finally goes back to Victory Lane here in the Coke Vanilla Cup Series. Great burn out there for Kyle, as well as some awesome donuts there, and now it looks like he's taking it to victory lane. As he brings it down to victory lane, we'll see you next week.